Namaste, I am Samya and uh, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today's video is a review of Montal's sandalwood. I have the sample with me. This is what it, the interior looks like. I bought this from a website here in Dubai and I had to pay 15 dirhams for it so that's a lot of money for a sample but I did get a request from a couple of people to review this so in case you enjoy this review please let me know in the comments and also give me a thumbs up it really really helps with the YouTube algorithm thank you now let's jump into the review I have tested this as you can see a couple of times on me and my husband so let's talk about it so my first impressions of this uh, scent is it's very fresh it's very spicy it's almost like this luxurious aftershave or um, an after shower splash for men a cologne for men that is a little the upscale luxurious very spicy side yeah and i feel it does project the spiciness and uh, it's very very masculine like fresh a masculine scent after five minutes the woody notes starts blooming and within like five to ten minutes i can actually feel the heat of pepper in the scent so since we're talking all these elements let's talk about the notes it has sea water juniper cardamom nutmeg black pepper sandalwood cedar and okmos ah, i can feel the heat of the pepper the, the spiciness of all the spices in it and the sandalwood is yet to make a full-on appearance so that's how I experienced the scent it is marketed as unisex and there are lots of women who enjoy wearing it um, to each their own to me the first 40 minutes of this fragrance journey is very very masculine after the 40 minutes marks is mark is when the sandalwood the cedar from morocco the okmos it it just brings out a more of a not full-on creamy but yeah there's this more of a unisex element to it like a woman would enjoy it certain women sent from bulgari have the notes of a sandalwood and cedar wood and okmos and all in their base the woody notes along with okmos it it definitely creates a nice elegant something okay another thing about the scent the sea water uh i didn't know there was sea water in this so when i was sniffing it i wasn't trying to check if the same notes are here or not i try to understand the scent without any bias so the way i can personify the scent is if you have watched the movie to Juti Me Makar, if you haven't, I'll just uh, leave pictures here and there. In that movie, uh, there's like almost 10 to 12 minutes of uh, Ranbir Kapoor's character finding this beautiful girl while he's uh, abroad on a vacation or a bachelor, tr bachelor trip or something like that. And uh, she's beautiful. He is so excited to meet her. And in that process, he is this fun flirty very friendly very playful very open person who is constantly pursuing her that is what i get from the scent this is not a dark mysterious who is he kind of a scent this is more like oh my god he's so much fun he's so open and friendly and lovable and i feel comfortable with him of course i would go on a coffee date with him because he's so fun he's like a comfortable relaxed person someone on a holiday i see a very uh, relaxed young man walking on the beach just 
absolutely relaxed and happy and living in the present living in the moment wearing a nice a white shirt you know like a white linen shirt that is like slightly unbuttoned or even swimming shorts something like that and his toes are like peppered with sand there's the scent of the ocean on his hair and he did have some aftershave on after his shower or um, after he finished swimming in the ocean and he like washed himself up it yeah it definitely has that uh, beach ocean holiday a relaxed fun friendly open having fun kind of a vibe i have reviewed certain scents before where i've said oh my god this is like a dark mysterious man or oh, this is like almost um so dangerous and out there no this doesn't have anything like that so it's not a groundbreaking scent it's not something that you haven't experienced before so that's there is definitely that element as well um what else do i want to say about it okay for me what's very interesting is uh if you are an indian you will know this in india sandal word is associated with uh, relaxation and bringing calmness and letting us be more uh, grounded and more aligned and combining that peaceful calm sandal word with lots of spices was like an interesting scent juxtaposition if you will um so yeah i enjoyed that element this has been compared to carolina herrera's 212 i haven't had a chance to sniff both of these side by side <laughs> so if you know more about it and if you think this is exactly like the 212 or two one two is better anything like that uh, please let me know in the comments have you tried this scent do you enjoy it let me know that as well now if you are someone who is looking for a very creamy classy dominating sandalwood scent this will not satisfy you if you do not like um ocean water marine aquatic kind of scents you're not going to enjoy this um If you are a woman who heard the scent is very unisex and you are expecting something very feminine from the get go uh, or something very unisex from the get go you would be disappointed because in my opinion on my skin and my husband's skin the first 40 minutes of the scent is a definitely very masculine the the cedar wood sandal wood um almost like faint of most kind of that um, dry down happens only after the 40 minutes mark so the first 40 minutes of the sense journey is a very very masculine let me see what else, what else have i written down okay it is all weather appropriate according to me of course on winter evenings if you're going on something like a date night or uh, of course if you have like a red carpet thing to do or a uh, uh, anything where you want to make a statement then i wouldn't go for this this is an easy everyday scent a perfect holiday scent uh if you are at a workplace which is not very serious which is more casual and relaxed and t-shirt jeans kind of a vibe definitely a no brainer now the hack about this scent is anything that has sandalwood in it if you use this on your underarms after you use your deodorant wait like 15 minutes then use this on your underarms it just it it's very different you will feel it's a different scent altogether because i think it produces certain kind of okay i don't want to butcher this but when a man's underarms smell <laughs> like clean and then a little like sandalwood it's mm, it's very attractive to a woman there's some studies done on that i remember reading about it if i can find it i'll link or else i'm sorry <laughs> so definitely give it a go first use your deodorant after 15 minutes of using the deodorant spritz this and see how do you experience the scent throughout the day it increases the longevity of the scent of course and yes uh you definitely use this on your you know here um behind your ears um on the crook of your arm your wrist behind your knees obviously on your clothes all this increases the longevity of the scent it's it's got moderate projection not much of any crg and like 5 to 6 hours of longevity uh, of course the performance will 
very much differ based on the weather conditions, your skin condition. Are you someone who moisturizes or not? Do you have very dry skin? Um, yeah, all of those things matter. So please keep in mind, fragrances are a very personal experience. It's a very personal journey and uh, don't go jump and buy this, an entire big bottle because of the review go to the store try this on or if you can't go to the store order a sample that's a great way to enjoy the scent so that's that i hope you enjoyed the review if you did kindly engage in the comments it really helps with the youtube algorithm i don't usually say this on all the videos but <sighs> thank you